Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. The economic storm hitting city after city now threatens something as minor as horse patrols, at least a dozen Asbury Park, which can no longer afford to feed its police horses. New Jersey reporter Brian Thompson is live with more. Brian? Yeah, Sue, while well, they are so concerned about losing their mounted police here, they're holding a fundraiser at this boardwalk restaurant. You know, everybody seems to believe in horse patrols, but you got to cut the budget somewhere. Meet Kobe and Bold Ruler, two of the four horses the Shore City counts on to help keep the peace. But the $16,000 price tag to keep them in carrots, hay, and oats, as well as keeping them shod, is more than Asbury Park can afford in these tough times. 16000 doesn't seem like a lot, but you put that together with a few other things, and uh, the mounted unit is at the top of the list when it comes to cutbacks. Saddle up time for the city's two mounted officers, Tony Butler and Mike Cassidy. For two years now, they've been perhaps the most public face of the Asbury Park Police Department, and they think they're making a difference. It's really been a positive thing, we think, for the police department and for the community in general. We're going to start reviewing our homework now. So and in Linda Meyer's classroom at Bradley Elementary, these second graders have joined the campaign to save the police horses, writing a letter. Because they can do mostly everything that the police cars can't do. They can get the purse at people. So Meyer saw the connection and went to her fellow teachers to help raise money. The mounted police officers came to us um, during a parade. The children met the horses, fell in love with the horses and the officers. Restaurant tour Tim McClune has been the biggest donor so far. He's bought into the new Asbury Park. I think it's an intimidating factor on the one hand, but it's also such a, an attractive one for children and families that we sort of get the best of both worlds. Back on the streets with Kobe and Bold Ruler, new icons side by side with the old. We've had people that wouldn't normally speak to the police actually come up and speak to us. They bring the kids up. Now they say they've got enough money for the next stow, oh, maybe a year or two, but they're trying to make sure they have enough to get them through however long this recession may last and however long the times are tight with the budget here in Asbury Park, like just about everywhere else. Live in Asbury Park, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York. Brian, thank you.